future and look at the top 10 aircraft in development. At number 10, the Pak TA. Ambitious and challenging, this Russian carrier is being designed to go Mach 1.5, carry 200 tons and have a range of over 4,300 miles. This program intends to build over 80 craft by 2024. It's debatable where this jet will actually go supersonic or not, since the wings are actually very long for sonic boom and the engine intakes are fairly short. At number 9, the Northrop Grumman RQ-180, a secret UAV drone. This craft has been speculated to have a wingspan of over 130 feet fly 60,000 feet and fly over 1,400 miles. Although not much is known about this drone, it's expected to be fully stealth, carry advanced air launch cruise missiles, and have the ability to identify and strike targets without human intervention. That's number eight, the Northrop Grumman Venus Propel Atmosphere Aircraft. Once again, this defense giant is currently designing a craft which can fly around 60 kilometers high in the atmosphere of Venus. If all goes well and the design proves feasible, NASA will award a possible $1 billion in funding towards this project. This unmanned craft will likely be buoyant and have a wingspan of over 50 meters. It's intended to collect and transmit data to a nearby spacecraft and it would be the first of its kind. That's number 7, the Aeromobile 3.0. There are a few companies out there building flying cars, but the Aeromobile is my favorite one. A prototype already exists and has the capability of going over 100 miles per hour both on air and ground. It's expected to have a price range of over $200,000, so I'm likely not to buy this car. And technically, you still need an airstrip to take off and land. At number 6, the JAXA Hypersonic Plane. JAXA is a Japanese division which works on several advanced aeronautical projects. Its hypersonic turbojet project is already making huge progress with its engine performing at Mach 4 and test conditions. This Mach 5 plane will likely seat over 100 people and small prototype aircraft models have already been extensively tested. That's number 5, the Lockheed Martin Ed Plus 2. This is another commercial supersonic jet, but it's designed to dissipate its sonic boom before it even hits ground level. This jet would accommodate 80 passengers, fly 5,000 miles with sonic booms 100 times quieter than the Concorde. Similar to the JAXA program, these planes may not be fully developed, but the technologies behind it will revolutionize the aerospace industry and help supersonic travel to be more cost effective. At number 4, the supersonic jet being built by Spike Aerospace. This private business jet is being designed to go Mach 1.6. Having a range of 4,000 miles will carry over 18 passengers, and on top of that it will have no windows. Instead, it will have a digital display which surrounds the whole aircraft giving breathtaking panoramic views. This supersonic jet is likely to be released in the dawn of the next decade. At number 3, the Arion AS2. This is another supersonic private jet with three engines which can go over Mach 1. It's being designed to dissipate shockwaves before they even reach the ground, so its creators are aiming for supersonic travel anywhere at any time. With a range of over 8,800 kilometers and up to 10 passengers, it will be likely released around 2021 with a price tag of $120 million plus. That's number two, the great SR-72. This will be the successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, and this hypersonic spy drone will fly twice as fast with a maximum speed of Mach 6. It is currently being built by Lockheed Skunk Works, which is the same program which built the SR-71 and the U-2 spy plane. This jet will likely use a hybrid ramjet engine to achieve these great speeds, and it's even speculated that the top secret Aora aircraft has helped streamline the SR-72 into production. It's expected to be demonstrated in a couple years and be in service by 2030. That's number one, the Skylon space plane. This groundbreaking single stage to orbit space plane which uses two hybrid air breathing rocket engines can launch from the ground and go all the way into orbital space. These innovative engines can cool incoming air from over a thousand degrees instantaneously using breakthrough pre-coolers. The craft can go up to Mach 5.5 using the air breathing stage and then it turns into a rocket phase to reach the orbital stage. The craft can carry up to 15 tons into space and it will drastically reduce space delivery costs. This will mean that we can build space hotels, habitats, and even interstellar spaceships. Even if only a couple of these aircrafts can be financed and built into production, it will be groundbreaking to the aerospace industry. So once again, thanks for watching, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel.